Uh, the very first thing that you need to do if you're thinking about solar, because solar is what comes to mind first for people. When they want to avoid running their generator or go boondocking off the grid, the very first thing that comes to mind is solar. And that's actually the last thing they should be thinking about. The first thing they should be thinking about is how much power do they use? An audit. They need to audit their system and determine how much power they normally use and build their system around that. And once they've done that audit, they, they need to determine your battery, to their bank, battery size. bank. Make sure that you've got the storage capacity needed in order to store the power you need for the length of time you need. So if you use 200 amp hours in a day and you want to be able to stay out for two or three days at a time without having to run your generator or recharge or plug in, you need to account for rainy days and, and not sunny days. So you want to have that battery storage capacity once you've got that battery storage capacity, now you can figure out the size of your solar array that would then feed that battery. So, it's, and of course, solar is actually the last element in the equation. Right. It's, everyone has it a little. We think a little bit backwards, yeah. and we did it the other way. Determine your needs, build your battery bank to hold the storage that's needed, the energy storage that's needed, then build the solar to feed that and fill those batteries. And contrary to what many people think. You don't run anything in your RV off solar, actually. Solar charges the batteries, and the batteries run everything in the RV. So the batteries power everything in your RV in two simple ways. By directly feeding 12 volts DC to all the things that use it, like the water pump, lights. The, the lights, the roof fans, things like that. And then the inverter, changes that 12 volt DC power into 120 volt AC to feed all the other things like residential refrigerator, microwave, microwave oven, the television set, your laptop, hair dryers, hair dryers. <laughs> very important. If you haven't got power for your hair dryer, you could be in deep trouble you out in the boondocks. You won't get a hairstyle as glorious You're as You're never going to have a hairstyle <laughs> like me if you don't have the power to work your hair dryer. 